The curve above is the graph of a sinusoidal function. It goes through the points negative four comma negative seven and two comma negative seven. Find a sinusoidal function f of x that matches the given graph. Analyzing the graph, notice how we have one period of the sinusoidal function from x equals negative four to x equals two. So let's go ahead and mark this off. Next, let's determine the midline. Notice how we have a maximum function value of one, a minimum function value of negative seven. One plus negative seven is negative six. Negative six divided by two is negative three. Y equals negative three is the midline, this horizontal line here. So because we have a midline of y equals negative three, we know the graph has been shifted down three units, and therefore the value of c is negative three. Let's go ahead and write that down. And now let's analyze the pattern of the graph over one period. Notice the key points over this period are minimum, midline, maximum, midline, and minimum. This pattern should remind us of a cosine function, where for the basic cosine function over one period, the pattern is maximum, midline, minimum, midline, and maximum. So notice here for the basic cosine function, we start at a maximum over one period. For our function, we're starting at a minimum, which means we do have a reflection across the midline, and therefore a, the coefficient of the cosine function, is going to be negative, where the absolute value of a is equal to the amplitude. And notice how the distance from the midline to a maximum, or the distance from the midline to a minimum, is four units, which we can see here. So because this distance is four units, the absolute value of a is four, but a has to be negative, and therefore a is negative four. We have an amplitude of positive four, and because a is negative, we have a reflection across the midline. And now let's determine the value of b, where two pi divided by b is equal to the period. Well again, we have one period of the graph from x equals negative four to x equals two, and therefore the period is two minus negative four, or two plus four, which is six, which means two pi divided by b must equal six. To solve for b, we multiply both sides by b. Simplifying on the left, we have two pi. On the right, we have six b. Dividing both sides by six and simplifying, we have b is equal to two six pi, which simplifies to one third pi. So now we know b is equal to one third pi. The last step is to find d, which indicates a horizontal shift. Again, we normally graph the basic cosine function starting along the y-axis. In this case though, our graph is starting at x equals negative four, and therefore the graph has been shifted left four units, which means d is negative four. Now we have all the information we need to write a possible equation using cosine for the given graph. We're asked to write the function as f of x, and therefore we have f of x equals a, which is negative four, times cosine of b times the quantity x minus d, where b is one third pi times the quantity x minus negative four simplifies to x plus four, and then c is negative three, giving us minus three. Now keep in mind, this is just one possible function that would match the given graph. For example, if we go back to this graph and focus on the graph starting at x equals, let's say, negative one, to the right, the period would not change, but the value of a would change because notice now we don't have a reflection across the midline because starting at x equals negative one, the key points are maximum, midline, minimum, midline, and then we'd have another maximum over here. So if we focus on this piece of the graph, a would be positive four, and this also changes the value of d, where again d indicates a horizontal shift. Notice now the horizontal shift would be just left one unit, and therefore d would be negative one. But the period doesn't change, and therefore b is still a one-third pi, and the vertical shift does not change, because the midline is still negative three, and therefore c is negative three. So another possible equation to match the graph would be f of x equals positive four times cosine of one-third pi times the quantity x minus negative one, which simplifies to x plus one, and then we have minus three. And just to show that these two functions give us the same graph, 
Let's graph both functions using Desmos. In red we have the graph of the first function where a is negative four and d is negative four, and then for the second function, a is positive four and d is negative one, and notice how we do get the same graph. The red graph and the blue graph are identical. I hope you found this helpful.